Hello there and welcome to another The Hunter Classic gameplay video. My name is Wimperman and in this video I'm going to be testing out some moved equipment on multiplayer and hunting some feral goats and some mule deer. So, story time! Right, <laughs> so on this map on Bush Rangers Run I used to have a hog feeder up here. Now you can only have four feeders on a reserve which meant that the other three were the feral goat feeders. Now I wanted four and I actually bought a fourth forgetting about the rule you could only have four in total. But I decided the other day that feral hogs are so easy to come by here that I thought the uh, hog feeder was sort of superfluous, it was unneeded. So I took it away and decided to add another feral goat feeder. And I moved the one that was here. So here's the equipment that I've moved. <laughs> yes, so there was a tripod stand here right on this ridge line that I've taken away. Because as far as I'm concerned, all of these hills and stuff are already elevated positions. And I don't see the need really to put pieces of equipment up there to elevate it even more. The only reason I originally put it there was because of the weapon stabilization it gives. So I took it down from there and I moved it over here. Which is where one of the towers were. You saw me use this in my grinding the snake bite bow video. Uh, where I got two whole foxes. Two of them there. Oh, I, although I think there was a third that I spooked as I was uh, harvesting the second actually. So there would have been three. Um, but the thing is I don't think that's enough to justify a whole tower. So I moved the tower to here. Which is where one of the, fer uh, the feral goat feeders already were. Um, now there was a two person tripod stand there. So I've taken that away. The other moved equipment is this tower was there. Roughly on its right leg. And I've moved it to the middle more of the kind of swampy area. And then... This is where I put the other feral goat feeder. Now, <laughs> it turns out that this one is actually fairly decent, except for when the goat feeder is actually active and has feed in it, and then it sucks. But if the goat feeder is empty, there's goats all over the place there. Uh, now, as a quick side note, as I was moving that equipment around, and don't get too excited because it's not the best you've ever seen. But I have talked before, especially in a video where I specifically went after feral goats to try and get my target score. As I've said in other videos, but if you haven't seen them, I'll say it again. When I wrote down all my targets, I took the highest in the leaderboard. Uh, I then wrote down 85% of that. Or was it 80? It might be 80% of the highest as my target for uh, taxidermizing for the trophy lodges. Why am I walking? I can run. Now, previously, I only found a 330. Uh, no, this is the White Rhyme Ridge bit. Uh, Bush Rangers run is through, the, uh, through here. Yeah. There you go. You can just see him. So, my personal best was 3.30. Well, surely happiness. Uh, that's enough of that. Done that joke already. There he is. So, I managed to get my target score of at least 3.40. This guy scores... Drum roll. Three. Shit, I haven't switched around. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He's, uh, uh, that's the piebald guy. Uh, for Pete's sake. I, I, I'll show you in a bit or later on. But anyway, I managed... <laughs> so this guy, because he's piebald, should be in my other lodge. And I've obviously moved the wrong one here. 
And <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I managed to get a 340.5. So yippee, I mean, I've managed my target of over 340. By a ha. Uh, aye. Uh, right, so that's what I've moved on Bush Rangers Run. Let me show you Timber Gold Trails. So, the two person tripod stand that I took away from one of the feral goat feeders, I've put there. Now, there was a tower that has been moved to there. And then I've put some other tree stands. Uh, I took the one that was here away and replaced it with a ground blind um, because over here wasn't particularly great and uh, so that went there the two-person tree stand i think i bought that one actually and then i also put now hang on a minute <laughs> ah there was a tree stand here which I will show you later on. I didn't really like its position because I, there was, there's a small clump of trees in a clearing, sort of near the middle-ish, which I put a tree stand in so that you had a good, decent view around of the clearing. The problem is that around the small clump of trees was all bushy. So when you had stuff coming directly underneath you because you were calling from the tree stand, they were quite often obscured. So that tree stand went over here where there was a ground blind. That ground blind is the one that was moved up there. Uh, I replaced the tree stand with a tripod stand, as you can see. Uh, yeah, and then I put those two and I placed that tripod stand in another clearing. Now, those, most of those placements are based on a couple of True Hunters videos. So, as you can see, I've replicated where his tower is here. I've put the one tripod stand in roughly the same area as this tower that he has in his preserve here. And uh, the tree stand here is in roughly the same place. It might not be the exact same tree, but it's roughly. And then these two I combined into one and put roughly in the middle. And then the goat feeder that's here on bush rangers run i have placed based on this video and his recommendation to put one down here now mine is actually further north up here but i'm hoping it'll be a good place so i do want to say quickly thank you very much to true hunter for sharing all his spots because i find them very useful oh since i'm talking about youtubers do you know what? It's <laughs> I really should say other YouTubers. See, I still don't consider myself a YouTuber, obviously. Otherwise, I would have naturally have said other YouTubers. So <laughs> since I'm talking about YouTubers, I do just want to uh, give a quick shout out to Binky the Hunter because he shut down his Discord the other week and he seems to have gone rather quiet since then. and. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit worried about him. So, Binky, if you're listening, I, I hope you're okay. Uh, drop me a line if you want to talk about anything. But I just wanted to say hello and hope you're doing well. Uh, why am I walking? Right, so, what my plan is now then, let's just pop outside. So... This new goat feeder here is the only one that's currently active with feed in it. So I want to make sure that that's a good location. Now, as I was placing that, there was a herd of goats roughly... Yeah, <laughs> roughly there. And then when I came on this morning... Well, this afternoon... When I, when I came on when I first woke up... Yes, that does mean I woke up in the afternoon... Right, so as I was coming here, I spooked a herd of goats that were literally standing around the the feeder, even though it wasn't active, and they ran that way, because so I spawned at that tent, give or take. Uh, so what I'm going to do now 
is go hunt it and make sure it's in a good position. If it is, I'm going to keep hunting this one for today, fill up the other ones for tomorrow, and then hunt all of them tomorrow. And then I shall go on to Timbergold Trails to do all of those new bits of equipment that I pointed out for the mule deers. Uh, if it turns out this isn't very good and I need to start move it, uh, moving it, I will, because uh, obviously it would then need another four hours to become active again. So if it needs to be moved, I'll move it and then go hunt mule deer and then come back. Now this will be another kind of clip show with some music. Uh, the last one I did where I was grinding my snake bite bow did rather well for my videos. Uh, and I really enjoy actually watching it as well because of the music. Now, there won't be any counters or any of that. I will be kind of using this as an excuse to level up some of my weapons. I am, of course, bringing the 30 or 6, which is still level 4. And I'm still trying to get my snake bite up as high as I can go. I've also noticed, because as I was doing the, snow, uh, the smoke pole missions... Come on, spell it correctly. That my Caplock muzzle loader is only level 4 as well. So if I manage to get this up to level 5 in this video, I will switch to the muzzle loader. So that's the plan. Uh, Rightio then, so I will see you over here. I'm going to walk over this ridge and kind of get a look from this sort of area. And we'll see how we're doing and take it from there. So, I will see you in a bit. <laughs> Do I always forget to say something before I stop recording? So, I forgot to mention that both on here on Bush Rangers Run and over on Timbergold Trails, I will be starting at different times to get an idea of when's the best time to use the equipment. Also, I'm currently on multiplayer. One of... Oh, I don't know actually if he is a subscriber. Or she, they. I don't know if they are a subscriber. Uh, but certainly one of my viewers has mentioned that uh, you get bigger scoring aminals and more of them when you host a multiplayer. I'm guessing it's programmed to... Uh, to kind of give more players more chance, I suppose it would be. Um, so I'm also going to be testing that as well. So I'm currently on a passworded server. Don't ask me what the password is, because I basically kind of did that. <laughs> so, I Right, well then, let's go have a look at the feeder. Wow, it's not looking good at the moment. So I'm here, as you can see. The feeder is over there. And there are no goats to be seen. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't get it. So as I was placing them, like I said earlier, so the roughly there-ish where that big tree is was a herd of goats. And then today when I ran to fill it up, there was a herd of goats all around it, even though it wasn't active yet. So, I don't know. Oh, yes. Another thing I forgot to mention. So, all of this equipment has been placed based upon some recon that my friend and I did when that was the wrong folder when the reserve first came out there we go so yeah when bush rangers run was first released my friend and i would we ran around the reserve and every time we saw an animal or heard the call of an animal or found fleeing tracks which of course would have meant that it wasn't that long ago um we probably spooked them away because obviously everything was new and our tracking wasn't high enough to tell the age of the tracks. But every time we found one of those three things, we put uh, I put a little mark on the map to uh, 
show where they were. Ah, Foxy. So, <laughs> and as you can see, I started to play some equipment based on that. So, the original tower was up here. And as you can see, there, there were loads of foxes. That's where I placed it. Um, e e so, I obviously decided to not do a tower and go with a double person tree stand and then went back for the tower eventually. Ooh. Oh, that's somebody else's goat feeder locations. Uh, where have they put... Yeah, that's not a million miles away from mine. Clubby Fisherman, wrong tube. Black is theirs, whoever this is. Okay. So, theirs is there, as is... No. Uh, someone called Clubby Fisherman and Ron McTube, who I obviously know, has a goat feeder there, and I put mine there. So, maybe it's worth moving that to... Where was it? About there-ish? Yeah, I don't know. I just don't think that's going to make much of a difference, to be honest. Because its current location should get more goats from further east. Right, so what I think I'm going to do is start at a different time. Maybe two or three different times before I decide to move it. Uh, if I move it, I will bring you back and show you I've moved it. If I don't, and it turns out to be good, the clip show will begin now. So, I will see you in a bit, or in a bit. <laughs> oh! And, and goat. Blimey. Though... He's got the biggest curly ones I've seen. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I'm going to bother shooting him though, because... What's the word I'm looking for? It'll impact the activeness of the feeder. What, what, what's it called? Anyway, doesn't matter. I will see you, like I said, in a bit. <laughs> Just real quick, I'm an idiot. The black feeders that are labelled as mine are mine. <laughs> That's where mine were. <sighs> okay, update time. Over there turned out to be shit. Despite the fact that, like I said, they're on two separate... I mean, granted, that's a sample set size of just two hunts but on both hunts there was a, a herd but uh yeah it, <laughs> this one's turning out to be a little bit like this one you know there's loads there when there's no feed in the uh, feeder so that one that just called is a lone buck where can we see he, he's not very good so i'm not all that worried about him of all the hunts I ran, the most I ever had was three, and I'm pretty sure they were all female. The only males I had were always individuals, or like uh, there was one hunt where I had two individuals. They clearly came from different directions. So, based upon that image, I've decided to put it there. It might not be in the exact same spot. But you can see the setup down there. The tripod stand, there's the thingy. 35 meters away from it. It's within bow distance. Right. That 340 and a half feral goat. The reason it's not in my lodge is because I forgot to taxidermize it. But I want to get this on camera just before 
the hunt history gets lost to time. So the 13th, here we go, at Bush Rangers Run. Eh. So I'm not lying. I did get one. It's just I forgot to fucking taxidermize. Dumbass. Okay, so as I said earlier, the fact that that turned out to be rubbish and I needed to move it now means I'm going to spend some time on timber gold, waiting for that to uh, become active again. Penalty is the word that I couldn't think of earlier. It's shooting penalty. Right, so anyway, I will start a clip show on Timber Gold Trail. It'll be a short one of some mule deer. Uh, then when we come back here, hopefully the clip show will just carry on because I won't need to move that. But we'll have to see. Okie dokie then. Just a quick intermission from the clip show to say that I have moved the feeder here slightly. So it was mm, there, I think. Yeah, I think it was there and the tripod stand was there. Now it's over there. The tripod stand is now closer to this tent. The idea being that if you're coming from the tent or if anyone's coming from the tent, they've got something to use on that side. Anyone coming from the lodge can obviously use these uh, hills. Uh, also, I have replaced the tower here. It's still being constructed, but I did that to make use of these views going that ish way. The ground blind that was there has been moved to there in between a bunch of the rabbit burrows. Uh, I am still continuing to change the start time uh, but I won't be playing in multiplayer anymore because I need the ability to pause which you cannot do in multiplayer obviously. Right so let the clip show resume.
Why are you running? Rightio then, I'm getting ready to end. I think I'm going to take that guy there, or gal actually, just to use up this one last arrow. So this is the most I've seen. I think I've just gotten lucky and got two herds. What's that? Pig, I think. I don't know. Another, another goat. Okay. Right, so... I'll take that one female, whichever one she is, I think, there. When she next stops, and then I'll give you my verdict. Are you serious? Did you fucking see that? What kind of Matrix bullshit was that? One of the other fucking goats pushed her aside as I fired. Right. Take that. And off you go. I've also bowed... Oh, you would have seen it, actually. I bowed a Axis deer. Over there, maybe. Yeah. Uh, right, so, my verdict. So, over on Timbergold Trails. So, the tower here was shit at 8 o'clock in the morning despite the fact that in true hunter's video he goes there at 8 o'clock and gets mule deer however I started at 9 o'clock and I was barely able to move for 2 hours because there were so many mule deers coming there 
this area, it seems again that nine o'clock was better for mule deers. And when I started at eight and then walked from the, uh, the tent here to there and then ended up over here, it seemed there were more elk, more Rocky Mountain elk. So this place, <laughs> yeah, so it seems that eight o'clock is good for axis deer and slightly better for feral goats. Starting at nine o'clock seemed to be better for kangaroo and feral hawks. Now, as for these feeders... Now, this might sound like a moan, but it is actually constructive advice. Don't waste your money. So, years ago, so that one, I mean, other than pick, trying to pick it up and put it back down to try and fix the issue, the same with that one over there, and the one that was here that I moved, I picked it up and put it back down at the, uh, again as well. So years ago, you were unlucky if you got six or eight goats at the feeder. And this was every single hunt almost. There would be 10, 12, 20 goats at each feeder. And then it seems like when the game went free to play, I know some people might think it was free to play from launch but I, I would consider it free to trial it was free to try because you could hunt only uh, mule deer at the time then they then they added this thing where this system where every week they swapped out two other free animals uh, but then it went completely free and we started to earn gems from kills and we were able to spend gems on all of the equipment now, it seems about then they nerfed the feeders and all of the feeders because this isn't just the goat feeders that seem to be rubbish now. It's all of them. The, the hog feeders on other reserves, uh, the bear bait barrels, uh, all of them. So it, I'm going to guess that before it went free to play, and I could be wrong, and this is going to sound very conspiracy theory, but I'm guessing there were people who couldn't afford to pay the real money to buy these uh, pieces of equipment. And they complained to EW, I'm guessing, about the advantage that people who could afford to buy these pieces of equipment had over them. And so it seems like when the game was released... They nerfed them into the ground. Nerfed them into the ground. So just this reserve trying to do these feral goats. I've come across maybe twice as many feral goats walking. So I haven't done much on this reserve. I, this is it. This is all I did in order to get the outro. But I was getting twice as many goats walking to or between the goat feeders than I was at the feeders. Some, like, they, it was very inconsistent. You were, I, I was lucky if in a hunt I got two feeders with goats at it. You're not a bad piggy. <laughs> okay. So I got three wounded animals to try and find now. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. I, yeah, it's a, but anyway, I was finding more goats in between the feeders than I was at the feeders. So yeah, my my recommendation, since they nerfed the feeders into the ground, is to punish them, as it were by not spending the money on the feeders because they are not worth the money anymore. They're not even worth the gems, in my opinion, because of how crap they are. It really is rubbish. Anyway, there we go. Moan over. 
So thank you very much for watching. I hope you got some enjoyment out of it. I'm going to spend a little bit of time trying to collect these, these wounded animals. And hopefully I will see you in another video. No, I fucked up my outro. So a <laughs> little bit of a story time. And you probably noticed I've gone back to building an Empyrean again. Because I have finished with the Hero Quest stuff. Those of you who know, because you've seen my community post, will know. So, I do the outro and actually the intro slightly different between the two games. And I just, because I've done two of the Imperium ones, I just got a bit mixed up. Right, so thank you very much. I hope, see, I messed it up again. Right, so thank you very much. I hope you got some enjoyment out of it, and hopefully I will see you in another video. So thank you again, and goodbye. Hooray!